rich people have read it that were poor before. How did money solve your problems and what new problems have appeared? Went through childhood in the foster system and fell through the cracks. Ended up homeless a few times. Anyways I am not a 1%er but I do make more than 80% of Americans. Yearly salary wise. Money relieved me of stress. When I go shopping I don't check my bank account before I make a purchase. I have insurance so I am not afraid to go to the dentist or doctor. Going out with friends is fun because I know I won't be financially struggling from a night out. It ultimately bought me a level of stability I never was used to and I am incredibly grateful. My new problems I wouldn't call problems. Home maintenance, car upkeep, bills, etc. I am grateful those are my main worries these days. It's really crazy how people are so grateful for money when you know what it's like to really not have any. Money allows me to not worry, it doesn't make me happy, but it frees up my mind to be happy, because I don't have to spend time worrying about how I'm going to pay the next bill. Lifestyle creep is a very real thing. If you're looking for a problem, we've gotten used to this level of money, so if it were to go away, it would be a pretty big problem pretty quickly. Our bills have risen along with our income. In the German language there is a saying that goes, Geld macht nicht glücklich. Aberes beruhigt und jemin. It translates to, money doesn't make you happy, but it calms you down immensely. It seems to be really true. Fawning service industry people. Wait staff. Hotel. Retail store people. It's embarrassing sometimes because I don't know how to react. I have a sister who is middle class and three kids. I'm relied on to provide certain expensive things for the kids. Once in a while is fine. It's fun. But because I have no kids, she thinks there should be a constant stream of fun activities and gifts coming from me because what else are you spending your money on? <laughs> Grew of middle class, until 12 years old, then mom had a stroke and parents lost family business and was essentially people broke. I think parents sheltered my brothers and I from it a lot. Always had something to eat but always moving around different homes. Christmas presents consisted of socks, underwear and candy bars. It sucked during high school. I was jealous. Went to college. Got a job. And so did my brothers. My brothers started doing well and started supporting our parents. I ended up going to med school. Getting through residency. Still paying off massive loans but now in a place where I don't have to worry about my car breaking down. I can go to Whole Foods. I can buy friends and family dinner without thinking about it. I can pay for my parents dental work without thinking too much about it. I can invest in stocks, invest in a good home, maintain the home and my cars and even make money on my house by investing correctly. The biggest difference is that, now I can make financial decisions that on their own make money for me, with real estate and with investing. And the ratio of this easy capital games money only gets better every year. When you are poor you own nothing and the only way of making money is to work but if your paycheck can support your lifestyle it is very difficult to break cycle paycheck can't support lifestyle then it is difficult to break cycle dully noted need to remember that and think about it whenever i want to buy something my biggest difference is now that i can wait till something is in sale and cheap instead of need to replace it when it broke it allows me to get better quality for the same amount of money for example laundry machine is minus 50 percent during sales so I can buy the quality of a $1,000 sign instead of a low end of the market for $500. Not rich by 1% standards. Never been poor. I always had a support system. Even if I had no money myself. That being said, the number one thing I noticed is holidays aren't as stressful. Because money isn't an issue. Shopping for presents is relatively easy. Because I'm limited by creativity. Not weighing how ashamed am I going to be to give this crappy gift to someone versus how much do I want to eat this week. The main problems come from being in that place where enough is never enough. As long as I watch my spending, I can mostly buy the occasional thing I want. But I don't have enough that I can buy whatever it's also a dilemma when it comes to helping out my friends. I don't have enough that I can afford to solve, or really significantly impact my friends financial problems while at the same time i want to be generous helpful when i can on the gripping hand it becomes easy to be taken for granted or even worse 
taken advantage of, springing for the occasional meal can easily become being expected to pay for restaurants that are more expensive than I want to be going to in the first place. You want to nip that crap in the bud real quick. But I have a lot of friends who are literally looking through couch cushions for gas money. At the same time, if I gave them gas money all the time, I wouldn't be able to pay my own bills. So it sucks to sit there and have to figure out when I can actually help versus when I'm lighting myself on fire to keep someone else warm. We weren't really that poor but we lost a good part of our income and the biggest problem is I can't spend money without stressing about how many hours I will have to work to pay it off. I so feel you. That's a really crappy feeling. It is hard to overstate the joy of having a reliable car, with gas, with insurance, that I just take to a guy if something needs to be fixed. It isn't brand new or fancy, it's just a car I can trust. It is heaven. New problem. My nieces and nephews hit me up for money whenever they have some sort of travel event they found that they want to go on. Sometimes the answer is no and that often causes hard feelings. About to drop 3000 on a transmission rebuild for a car I've had for a year because I can't afford to make monthly payments for a newer one. I can't even imagine trusting a car. Went from extremely lower middle class, where I didn't carry insurance because I couldn't afford it, and could never pay all my bill in any given month, to 1%er. Uh, the biggest difference is bar none the loss of that fear and shame. My wife is an incredibly empathetic sympathetic person but she came from money and doesn't understand the feeling, the stress, shame, and sleeplessness that comes from not having money just can't be explained unless you've lived them. Not having that feeling, just knowing I can buy what I want, within reason. Don't confuse the 1% with the 0.01% is one of the greatest changes in my life. Having come from almost nothing to where I'm at now there are no problems. The problems I face now are totally first world problems, because money. Kinda the opposite here, was fairly wealthy living in a large single family home. Now living in a 250 SQFT trailer. The biggest thing is probably not having the time to be able to enjoy ourselves. Working 7 days a week just to make ends meet isn't fun. Before, we could go anywhere on a whim and not have to worry about missing out on the money. One thing I can say for sure though is I will never take normal things for granted ever again. How I miss having a dishwasher and a clothes washer and counter space. I miss having an oven big enough for a tray of cookers. I miss having more than one bathroom in the house. If I were to ever have these things again, I'd never ever look at them how I did before. I'd be eternally more grateful than I ever had been. I'm sorry that happened you nugget fucker. I am not super rich, but definitely doing okay. And really there aren't downsides. Maybe a bit of guilt that I have some extended family members who are always living paycheck to paycheck, but they are just bad with money and would spend it like NBA players if I helped them IMHO. They all smoke like chimneys and drink like fish. The ones that have a bit more in their paychecks have big trucks subs, etc. I do contribute to college funds for their kids. Sometimes I feel a bit out of touch. I had an AC unit blow 2 years ago, it was a few grand, I had a friend over and just mentioned it, and she was like oh man that must have been a big setback and I just kind of shrugged it off, not really, I knew it was struggling for a good year and a half, I was happy to get as much time out of it as I did and the newer one was much quieter, I immediately regretted saying that as she looked at me like I was crazy, we lived way below our means for many years. We had a smallish condo that worked well enough for us, but we finally found our forever home this fall which is much larger and nicer and kind of shocked some people. We didn't tell people what we paid, but still kind of outed ourselves a bit, so we will see how that changes people's perceptions. It's a much bigger nut to take on, we will be okay but things could get stressful if I lose my job or before some other catastrophic thing in the next 6 months to a year. Can't say I'm rich but for my age. 22. I'm wealthy. I always had to think a lot before buying anything. Having money makes it much easier. I don't have to say no to my friends when they invite me for something because I don't have the money. Always so embarrassing. Still I'm always afraid I lose it again and I end up being poor again. It's a constant anxiety. IDK if it's just me, but wealthy denotes a lot more zeros to me than rich. A doctor is rich the queen is wealthy. The biggest thing is solves is that you no longer have to worry about things. 
$2,000 car repair, no big deal. Put it on your credit card to save 2% with cash back and the bill is auto paid in full on the due date anyways. Your life is much less stressful when these things randomly pop up, and you don't have to worry about where you'll get the money to cover them. The problem I've been thinking about lately is why I want to keep increasing my salary. I'm on the fence about getting an MBA so that I can move into a senior level management position. CTO Sia. It's not like I need more money. We already live on less than 30% of my salary so why do I need to earn 800k, 1m or even like a 20m salary. It seems so wasteful. I like my $250k house just fine. I like my current vehicle and motorcycle. What else do I possibly need? But yet I feel like everyone around me is like why. So yeah, I'd say that. I feel like I'm supposed to want to move into those positions. And when I ask people why I should want to move into that position the answer is always because you'll earn way more money and it's like. I earn $180-230k a year right now. And we live on less than $70k a year. So why in the world would I need even more? I could retire on my current path at 43 years of age with over $4 million. But why do I need more money than that? I'm not rich but I went from making restaurant wages to having a salaried job with the state with benefits. Last night I was at Target buying towels and was getting my usual $10 towels. I was putting them in the basket when I stopped and realized I didn't have to get those anymore. Walked another aisle over and got much nicer towels because I could afford it. You don't have to be rich to enjoy some better things when you were dirt poor for nearly a decade. As far as downsides, I'm still not rich so I can't splurge that often on other things. I swear, good quality towels are the crap. You think towels are just towels but dang. I grew up without much money and was the first in my family to go to college. After college I kept on going education wise and now have a job that lands me in the top 1% of earners. First the good, grocery shopping without that sinking feeling of having to put something back because I miscalculated. No more clipping coupons, nicer stuff, clothes, car, house, electronics, able to set all credit cards to automatically pay in full every month. Nicer hotels and vacations, unique experiences, access to politicians, musicians, VIP areas etc. Able to donate big sums of money to causes I care about. No more stressing about bills, they all get paid in full automatically. I can hire people to do the many of the things that used to take up my free time. Laundry, house cleaning, errands etc. I can take care of my family and friends when needed. The US system is designed by the rich to help them maintain and grow wealth. My stock holdings have made $600 so far while typing this. Now the bad. I try to be discreet because once people find out I have money they try to separate me from it. Whether it's in the form of fees, inflated quotes, was quoted 2k to clean my tile floors once, or requests for loans, gifts or investments, everyone wants a piece. I have to worry about what my money is doing. Once my checks started coming in, I had dollar signs sitting in my checking account for months at a time. Now I have to move it around to make Ether grow. 401k, brokerage accounts, real estate syndication etc. Similarly, any new friends not in my income bracket are suspect. It sucks but I have to consider people's motives. I have to make sure my kids aren't entitled little brats and don't grow up to be entitled. Awful adults. This one kills me. Able to set all credit cards to automatically pay in full every month. I can't even imagine. That'd be such a stress relief. More than anything else on the list this is what I would want. I can buy healthy food like quinoa instead of eating crap food like Easy Mac. Takes a bite of quinoa. I sure could go for some Easy Mac right about now. Quinoa isn't even expensive lol. What new problems have appeared? People suddenly become very friendly if they need money and they stop being friendly if you don't loan them more. Also loans are gifts in their head. There are two ways to lose a friend. One is to borrow, the other, to lend. I'm not rich, but I've been dirt poor. While I make a good living, for my area, and can afford to actually buy stuff, 
I still get major anxiety when I spend money. I went from making decent money to losing everything in Hurricane Katrina years ago, and something in the back of my mind tells me to hoard money because it will happen again. I don't live anywhere near a hurricane vulnerable area, but I just mean a catastrophic event of some sort. I've made a lot of strides with being okay with spending money, but I still have a lot of tendencies that people would call cheap. I grew up dirt poor and have the same experience now when spending money, even on things I need, like food or clothes. I get this nearly immobilizing sense of anxiety and feeling of guilt. Always lived the same, but now what I call virtual poverty, so the money I have saved is my security blanket. This year I was able to leave a workplace that became toxic, so I only work at places that make me feel happy. This was my goal for a long time. It's an unbelievable feeling of relief to be able to leave a toxic workplace because I can and not stay because I have no choice. I can afford to drink pretty much any booze from a normal liquor store now, but I don't drink anymore. I can afford to eat anything at the nicest restaurants in town, but my waistline cannot take it. When I was a poor college kid, a tuna sandwich from the cafe for a buck and a half was a treat. Now, no food feels that good. All I can say is cooking and fine tuning that skill brings me a lot of joy. I know it's not for everyone but being able to buy fresh ingredients and learn how to cook them to fit your own taste preferences and dietary restrictions gives something that you can't get from eating out. I won't call myself rich, but I am dang close to 6 figures and no kids to speak of. Wife makes same as I do. My wife lost her parents and her inheritance let us pay off the house. Within reason, we are able to buy whatever we want. Want to go to this expensive restaurant? We can. Want to buy new gaming system? You got it. I grew up poor having to ask for more food only to be told there was no more or be punished for asking too much. I got real good at stealing those square pizzas from the lunch line at school. I probably stole one of those every single day. Never got caught. For Christmas I bought my niece a Switch and Pokemon Sword Shield combo pack. My new few is 5 so he is getting probably 50 Hot Wheels cars, nearly 100 yards of track, and 4 boosters. My parents are getting a ton of random, bit fun, items for Christmas as well. As someone who also grew up in stealing lunch line pizza territory, you probably did get caught almost every time. But lunch ladies know when kids are hungry and sometimes they look the other way. I grew up pretty poor, not third world poor. But we always worried about money, war hand-me-downs, literally lived off the land at times, we could buy food or school clothes, not both, so we poached deer, fished and crabbed illegally, and night harvested in the fall. We currently are not rich, but okay, about 150 slash it, but for a while, about 15-20 years ago, we were doing quite a bit better, like 200, but a much cheaper lifestyle. My wife controls the money and does the shopping. I haven't really noticed much change. One way or the other, our house is nicer than I expected. And when we were really flush, we had some pretty epic vacations. But really, we both prefer camping anyway, and live in a place that is great for camping. Two big differences. One we don't stress about money. My 12 year old car was starting to fail. I called a guy, made an appointment, and bought a 2 year low mileage fun car. When I was growing up, the cars were 20 years old, and we were constantly fixing them, always in the dark, and always in the rain. Me and my brother put three transmissions into one truck that was older than both of us, and always in the rain. Now, I just call a guy, and maintenance? I drop my car at the lube shop in the morning, and walk to my office. They do it up, and drive it to the tire store for a rotation. The tire guys take it to the car wash, and the car wash brings it to my office before lunch. I will never fix another car in the rain again, and my kids have never had to steal their food. Those are the scars of my youth becoming the stars of my adulthood. I am not rich, but I think my dad would approve, because now I call guys. Two is the other thing, I can give now. We support youth development causes in our town, but more importantly, we pay scholarships. This is when you are signing your kid up for something cool, and you pay 2-4 times the amount, so the poorer kids can do it too. This was my childhood. My best friend was rich, but his parents really respected mine, 
and they also love me. Every cool thing that came up that I knew I couldn't afford turned out to be just free my friend's mom paid double for everything. And neither I or my parents ever knew until she had passed. Doing that for others, while thinking of her is the one lifestyle change I truly cherish. God bless you Diane. I moved from working a dead end job to teaching abroad. While I am not rich, the call is shockingly low. We're talking a 3 slash BR apartment for about $500 a month low. Eating a decent meal. Not an extravagant one but something with somewhat healthy qualities. Runs about 3-5 US dollars per meal. I can afford rent. Avoid cooking forever if I wanted to. Insurance, etc. And only have to budget 800. 1000. USD out of my total monthly salary of 3000 US dollars depending on how strict I want to be. It's not for everyone. But it beats the heck out of delivering refrigerators with a bi-weekly salary of $400. Downside is being away from family. However I can afford to fly them out and they have a place to stay if I budget correctly. Consulting a doctor and having blood work done. Along with reviving a prescription cost me $25 today. I'm not rich, but I'm very comfortable. Depends on your definition of rich but I live in a house worth over £500 K and I'm not in the south of England in London £500 K could get you a one bed flat near a nice area. I earn around £90 K a year but I'm mortgage and debt free and will at some point inherit close to £600 K. Maybe that's not the rich you meant but I can't go a day without thinking how lucky I am to have what I have so I'm calling it rich. I wasn't always poor either. I was raised in a middle class family in a nice area because my dad had a very important, well paid job. I was never spoiled, in fact my parents gave me fewer cheaper material things than my friends got but taught me the values of working hard. 20 years ago my parents would give me 50p allowance, that's less than a dollar today, and ask to see what spent it on and ask what I liked about what I bought. Then it all went to crap, my dad lost his dad and it hit him hard. He started drinking. He'd always drank a lot but that was part of his middle class, executive, role. Or maybe that was a cover. He spiraled. My parents divorced. I still made an effort to see him and my mother supported that decision. Wasn't long until he died and he left nothing to us because he'd blown it all. I lived with my mum. She never earned much. It was my dad who brought in the money. But she increased her hours and made her little house a lovely home. She also told me to try my best at school but not to worry if I didn't achieve grades I couldn't achieve. And I didn't get the grades and didn't go to university. I spent over a decade doing a low paid job I hated. Then one night an old friend got back in touch. He was doing really well with a family business but wanted to catch up. I had looked after him years earlier when he broke up with his fiance. I happened to mention I love getting up early in the morning for a run and just being up early in general. He said he was rubbish at mornings and his small company could do with someone who could be in the office early and offered me a job. I had to pass many exams first which took about 2 years of studying which I did alone. So to answer the question, money has solved a lot of problems. I can buy a beer or a lunch without worrying. I know that's not impressive but I was once so poor I would have loved that. I have my son's university fund set up and it's got enough in it. I generally feel happier and more confident. Not arrogant. Just really grateful and I make an effort to be nicer to people. Especially if I'm in a restaurant or shop because I've also worked in both and there's nothing worse than some tea who has had pretty much everything handed to him to all his life and could be nice but chooses to be a tea. I'm lucky. I don't deserve it. Hopefully I'm not a T. I don't know I'm rich, but I make around $250k a year and my finance makes an additional $110 to $120k a year. We are both 32. I grew up poor as crap. Father worked in flea market. Honestly, money solves everything and causes no new problems. I see people say that people will use you for your money. Friendships aren't real, you'll attract gold diggers, etc. But honestly this is just a way for poor people to feel better. My rich friends are 100x more loyal reliable better people than my poor friends growing up. The people I attracted while dating were 100x nicer more authentic prettier than when I was poor. I live in a safe neighborhood in a luxury building. Can pay people to do everything I hate. For example, cooking. No financial stress. Travel all the time. My job, although sometimes stressful, 
is super interesting and impactful. I can retire young. Not sure what state you're in, but $360k is 1% of territory in quite a few of the lower call states. It's still high most anywhere as long as you're not in NYC or the Bay Area too. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.